VR chat, patch notes, 2024.2.1. Me? Straz, community team. Let's go. This is a big one. Let's start with the headliners. First up, hey, we're now on Unity 2022.3.22 F1. This isn't a huge upgrade, but should bring about some performance improvements. Woo, don't upgrade your projects just yet though. We'll let you know when it's time. We've also got animated emoji. You can do so within VRChat via the camera. Just set the camera mode to animation and the save location to emoji and you're good to go. Along with this, we've got a bunch of changes to the camera. There are now expandable photo and emoji buttons, which have new functions. Likewise, all previous cases that use the quick menu camera now use the user camera instead. This means that when you take a picture attached to a message or a photo for your gallery, you'll be able to use the regular camera. For our Android users, we're adding a new feature called Focus View. Navigating VRChat on mobile can be hard, especially when it comes to interacting with menus that creators have designed around VR and desktop users. With Focus View, you can tap on interactable elements in VRChat and the camera will zoom in directly on them. Theoretically, this should work pretty flawlessly with any world UIs. It's backwards compatible, making the process much easier for mobile users to navigate the world. Finally, a small yet big change for those using meta headsets. We've adjusted the colors on these headsets. That might mean certain worlds could look less saturated, but overall, they should be more accurate. Speaking of smaller changes, we got a bunch of them in this patch. The group instance panel has been adjusted. The two sections of cells have been renamed to friend locations and group member locations. A little more padding has been added to the bottom of the group's instances panel for comfort. We also fixed an issue where double clicking on a group in the side panel would cause the group instances panel to break. And finally, we fixed an issue on the group instances panel that reported friends occupying instances when they weren't there. Spooky. Some other changes worth noting. On Quest and mobile, pedestals no longer let you switch to incompatible avatars. They'll display a red X when they can't be used, like portals do. We improved dithering, film grain and noise, and dark pictures taken with depth of field enabled, prevented red camera beams from appearing in pictures or screenshots, and improved their performance on mobile platforms. Improved scaling for the main menu avatar preview, especially for imposters. And that's all the new features and changes we'll be covering. Keep in mind, as usual, that we haven't listed everything here. You gotta check out the patch notes for that. On to the fixes. We fixed skewed headshot bones not appearing correctly. Fixed a bug that would cause UI elements to get highlighted at the bottom left corner of the camera. Fixed a bug that kept favorite world lists from updating properly if private or deleted worlds were present. Fixed the friends list sometimes not updating a friend's status when they change it. Fixed a bug with expression parameters where parameters with underscores, angle brackets, or spaces could cause conflicts, unexpected OSC behavior, and generally broken avatar functionality. Fixed a bug that would prevent videos from loading on Quest while logged into the device with a secondary meta account. Fixed far clip plane incorrectly being clamped to lower values. This will now only occur when a world uses baked occlusion calling. Fixed an issue with the send invite feature that caused the pop-up to close after taking a photo if you access the user via search. And more. Make sure once again that you check out the full patch notes linked in the description to see everything that's been fixed or changed. That's all for now. See you next time.